Okay, and welcome back. So I have added the other images to the other, um, well, to the other uh, pages here. So looks great. So each um, page has its own uh, image. So what you'll notice that now, like the text is there, we can't see it because this is not scrollable. So what we're gonna do is now make um, a scrollable view. So we're going to uh, go to our project. Um, we're going to go to, um, I, I, we want to go to the layouts. Oh, and another thing, I've now realized that uh, we are reusing the uh, love page adapter um, for pretty much all of the data, all of these. Um, if you look at, say, love, we're calling the love page adapter to set up our um, our page. If we look at Yule, we're also using Love Page Adopt. I think that's a little confusing, um, especially as they end up being the same, even though we we're supposed to make them a little different. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to Love Page Adopter. I'm going to refactor, which means I'm going to rename it, and it's going to, hopefully, what Android 2 is going to do is it's going to rename it properly for all the files that I you know, references. That's what refactoring is. So I'm going to run it again just to make sure nothing broke. And also to make sure that right now contemplate page adapter is the same as page adapter. And the idea is that they would be different, and obviously they're not. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to switch um, the settings around a little bit. So, so at least. Um, we can tell that they're different. So I'm going to make this here just so we can tell that they're like a little different. Um, make sure nothing broke. Please don't break. Um, it doesn't look like anything broke. Love works fine. Um, Yule looks fine, it's great. And uh, Contemplate Winter looks the same as Love, so we're going to run it again with our newly made layouts so we can tell there's a difference between these two layouts. And that way I can show you um, that you can either make a separate layout for each activity or you can just reuse the same one over and over and over. Oops, I don't know why I clicked on the Yule thing. I guess it's my favorite one. I like that little reindeer. <laughs> uh, go back. So contemplate winner. The picture should be at the top. Great. Um, and another thing that's bothering me, um, we call this layout page or love, but since we're using the same thing, we're going to refactor it and just call it a layout pager, just like a general one. So in theory, you could get rid of layer pale um, contemplate, just use layer pale. Um, just use this one, forget about layer, layout page or contemplate. We're going to run this again just to make sure everything's running fine, nothing broke because of the refactoring. Sometimes a little paranoid about that. All right, and now we can start. Um, we'll check to make sure that it's um, not broken, but we're going to start the uh, scroll view, which will allow us to scroll, <laughs> um, believe it or not. So, um, why is it not populating? It should populate. Maybe if I alt enter it? Yes, requ insert required attribute length. Come on. I... Oh, it doesn't seem to want to. Set it. So, um, I guess we'll have to set it manually ourselves. It's okay. We'll oh! There it is. <laughs> I don't know how sometimes I don't know how it works. So we're gonna put our relative layout in the middle of the scroll view. I think if we do that we don't need to close it, right? Right. No. Not right. <laughs> oh god. Um no, I think we need that. Boy, we'll need this thing, this guy here. Okay, 
you know what we're gonna we're just gonna felt mm. I'm gonna copy and paste this because I know we have to have that. Um, Android. So let's just do what it was wanting to us about. Um, height is gonna be a um, match parent. Do we want that? Sorry, I feel like. Do I need that? Okay. So Android layout with required I know that match parent so I believe this should work no it wants us to say wrap content okay there you are um you know what I just realized we actually don't want this on content love we want it on the pager layout. So actually I'm gonna undo all this. Undo, just forget I did all that. <laughs> Kidding. We wanna do it on the layer page. And we're gonna just um What if we try to add a scroll view within the relative view? Would it populate it for us here? Yes, okay, yay. So now we know um, how to get this automatic population. So we're going to just put you outside the relative layout. Seems to be unhappy. Oh, because we didn't find it. Do we want to make a name? There we are. Yes. Okay. And uh, what is this error? Do we not need that? Alright. <laughs> oh yeah, because it's already there. Um, it should be wrap content. Okay. I don't know why it does. If I just do what it tells me. You just don't want to make the uh, IDE angry. <laughs> um, I believe this should be good. Ooh. No, it's not. Okay, I just clicked on something. Ah, uh, it wants... I don't know what it wants. You might just want to... Do I want to wrap content? You want to do that? I don't know. Well, let's try it out. <laughs> I guess I never actually checked if it was broken, so I'll quickly check to make sure. Okay, everything looks fine. <laughs> So we're going to check the contemplate winter to make sure our scroll view is working and then we'll do the same thing for um, the other ones. Yes, look at that. We have a scroll view. This is lovely. And we'll have to probably fix this um, these text boxes later. Look at that. Isn't this nice? So let's make a scroll view for the other pager. And luckily um, we know the trick now. We have to add the scroll view within to uh, let's try wrap content, see what happens. It's probably bad. <laughs> but who knows? So we're just gonna put this on the outside and we are going to create the namespace declaration. Um We're going to make this wrap content because it wants us to do that. Um, and let's, since now our scroll view is in, let's just uh, run our emulator. Snip on snacks. I haven't clicked on that in a while. Look at that. We got our scroll view. This is. This is nice. I think this is all we want. Um, the only thing we have to do is sort of make the, you know, eh, you know, just make the, um, move the text boxes around, you know. This looks just great. It's wonderful. Um, 
The only thing I have to do here is maybe like move the text box around. I just did it willy nilly earlier. I think I want some space here. And I want the uh, title to be at the top and not the bottom. Um, but that's just, you know, minor UI stuff. So, okay, um, in this video, I showed you how to use a scroll view. Um, and I guess my next video series, I'm going to show you how to add tabs. You know, so you have like a little tab thing that tells you what the title is. And that's really hard for me, so that might be a struggle. But um, I think it's, it would be nice for people to sort of see what's coming ahead and what's behind. Alright, so see you in my next video. Thanks for sticking with me so long.